Hi, I'm Bradley Crawford, and I'd really, really like to help out Garner, North Carolina by opening up a business that it desperately, desperately needs. A thrift shop. I basically have the only premier thrift shop in all of Garner, North Carolina. Now, I know that I don't dress very traditionally when it comes to any kind of pitch video or anything business-wise at all, really. But here's the thing. You're not just investing in a location. And you're not investing in just the concept, either. You're investing in me. And I just wanted to show you that I am, in fact, the real deal. Because what will separate us from other thrift shops is geekdom. Mine will be providing everyday thrift right up front and then have everything geek in the back separated. But there will be a strong and organized focus on the fun and mainstream culture that is geekdom. Like the clothing, for instance. You will have regular everyday clothing up front for people that just want to come in and replace some clothing or find some clothing. However, behind that regular clothing, you will have the geek clothing. And it will be subcategorized into the different geekdoms. And along with that, that will happen with every facet of this thrift shop all throughout, including kitchenware, houseware, shoes, furniture, and electronics. Now the last reason I want to bring to your attention is the need want factor. Now first you have the need factor. Garner, that's a big one. Like I said before, there are no thrift stores around here. No real ones, at least. Now if you look here, Garner is right out of reach of that Salvation Army. And you have this peddler thrift mall that is actually a consignment shop. Entering into a Goodwill Industries that is a thrift store, but commercialized. Coming back around to this Garner Area Ministries thrift store that's only open a few days a week. Followed by a Wings consignment, which is a, another consignment shop. That means that this is not a thrift store. This is not a thrift store. This is neither a thrift store nor a consignment. Then here we have the Goodwill, which is a thrift store, but it's on the outer reaches of Garner. Plus, it is a commercialized area, which means that it's not going to provide the premier services that I'm going to provide. And then last, we have the actual only thrift store in Garner that is non-commercialized. However, it is also only open a few days a week. And then there's the one factor. Now this one's a little bit more interesting. See, there's all these companies coming right now, but all these companies tend to attract a lot of people that seem to be in the geek culture one way or the other. Now, the cool thing about this is that these people that are going to be working in the Durham, Cary, and Raleigh area, they're going to be living in places like Barnum. It's a win-win. Now, with that, I'm going to leave you with two things. One, I think that with any business, the biggest thing is transparency. If my customers are gonna trust me to support my business, then I should trust my customers with any questions about the hows and whys of my business, if those questions should come up. And then secondly, I think that when it comes to a thrift shop, the number one rule is turnover, turnover, turnover. I'm basically gonna be getting all my supply for free. It's mostly donations. So with that in mind, why would I sell it for anything else but dirt cheap? And with that, I, I implore you to consider helping me open Garner's first thrift store, Popper Tags Thrift Shop. I'm ready to help you find your next treasure at a Popper's price.